Hey everyone, it is Sunday, July 26, 2020, and it is 4.30 p.m. and I unveiled this pyramid. This is my brother Kevin's ashes. Um, he was murdered in 2014, um, and I have his ashes here at my house, and I wanted to release him, so I wanted to keep some of his ashes, so I found a way to keep some of his ashes and release the rest of them so he can be at peace because... He's been um, sitting in my house for six years and hasn't had a funeral or anything. And my mom won't give him one because she's a bitch. But anyway, another story. So um, I wanted to do something special with his ashes to where I could keep a part of him with me and then release the rest of his ashes. So that's what I've done. I started doing these pyramids and I thought, well, I can put my brother in a pyramid. So what I did is I made a pyramid of his ashes and... I will show you what it looks like with the light on it, okay? It looks really pretty. So in the bottom, I have cut glass right here, as you can see, and it's blue. And then blue alcohol inks. And then I did wire wrapping to wrap this sphere in it. The sphere is my brother's ashes here. And it's packed with his ashes. And I have shells and glitter mixed in his ashes so that it would look pretty. And then... There's alcohol inks right here, and you can actually see through it. I don't know if you can see my finger back there, but you can see through this. And a bunch of glitter. This is all my brother's ashes right here all the way to the top. And it's separated, which is kind of bizarre. It's kind of creepy, but those are my brother's bones right there in the pyramid. But it kind of turned out okay. You won't be able to tell looking at it what it is. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a look at this before I put the light on it. This is the side of it. And it's got blue alcohol ink and glitters, and that's the wire wrapping that I made him to hold them inside. Here's the back. And it has pretty greenish-blue shells in it right there. So anyway, I'll just give you a quick look at it here. And you can see the wire wrapping I did. It's really pretty. So I'm going to pause this video for a minute and then put a light on it so you can see it. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back, and I'm going to turn this light on so you can see how pretty it is. There you go. Wow, isn't that amazing? Give you a good look there. Isn't that pretty cool? And now you can see all the cut glass in there, and that's alcohol ink in there. All this right here, and you can see through it to the other side right here. And that's my brother. Suspended, like suspended animation. And you can see through that. And those are all his ashes. And it gets darker as you go to the top because it doesn't light because that's his ashes at the top. And his bones, like I said. But anyway, I just want to give you a look-see at the finished product that I did. That looks double. It's pretty cool. It turned out pretty cool. And you can see all the shells in there that I put in there. My brother loved the ocean. and He loved California. So I thought I would do a blue theme with like an ocean kind of look theme and put shells in it for him those are all the shells right there anyway so that is my brother and he is going to be put to peace to rest soon because I'm going to spread his ashes probably off of some pretty mountain top here in Vegas or California or some place where he'd like to be and, um, I don't know. Let's see what this looks like this way. Hang on. Let me get it up here. There you go. Get a good look at it in the light. It's pretty cool. And I'll show you the bottom of it real quick. Hang on. This is the bottom of it right here. You can see through the whole pyramid. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Let me turn this light off here. There, yeah, so that's better and get a good look. That's the bottom of him. And he's got, I put green glitter in here and mylar and blue glitter. And anyway, that's my brother. <clears throat> so I just wanted to show you guys what he looked like. Hang on. And that it is finished and I'll be putting him on my shelf. So rest in peace, brother. And his name was Kevin Turner. And he was uh, 53 when he died, when he was murdered. Anyway, peace out, people.